In this video, we are going to learn how to solve problems involving in-depth integration with the Casio FS 901ES calculator in seconds, especially for multiple choice questions. Now that going through this video, you will be able to solve problems involving indefinite integration with Casio FS 901ES calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions. So ensure you stay with me till the end of this video. Okay, so let's go to the Casio calculator now and go into the details of what i have here all right so this is the Casio calculator the fs another one yes okay so i have three questions here so be sure you stay with me till the very end of this video don't miss any part ensure you watch this video to the very end very, very important guys okay so now the first thing you have to do or know is that you have to clear your calculator very, very important if you have watched some of my previous videos you will know that i have often said this that you should be clearing your calculator now the essence of clearing the calculator is to wipe out whatever previous value you might have stored in the calculator so that it will not interfere with the present calculation you want to do okay so having known that let's clear to clear you simply press shift but nine for the instruction you want to initialize or you press three then press to call to press to call to again so right now the calculator has been cleared now what clearing does is to put your calculator in default mode very, very important is to put it in default mode okay so having done the clearing the next thing we are going to do remember we want to solve question one after question one we'll go back to question two now solving this question one you have to take note of, of some important points the first one is that for solving in-depth integration with the Casio calculator, one is that you have to store a value, which is two I recommend always. Now you can work with any other number, but I recommend two because I have worked for a very long time with two and I have not found any error with so you work you store two. So right now we're going to store two in this calculator. So to store two, you press the number first, two. Now to store two here now. Unlike in the white Casio calculator FS another one ES plus the white one, if you have to store this number, you first of all press shift, then press store and this alphabet X. But in this black one, you don't press the shift. The only thing you have to press is just or the thing the two things you have to press rather is this store and this alphabet X. Very, very simple guys. So you press this store and X. Once you do indicate here that two has been stored as X in this word calculator. Remember, you don't press shift. You press shift and store. It will not work. It's, it's in the first, in the, in, the, in the white one that you press shift, store and X. But this one, don't press shift. The only press was store and X, and the value will be stored. But having stored this value here, the next thing you have to note is to put your calculator in registry, guys, for solving integration to be on the safe side. Ensure that your calculator is always in registry. Do not solve it in degree. Okay, so having known that, you put this calculator in the in reduce sorry all you have to do is press shift menu then category two angle you need press two then radian option two so it's now in reduce if you can see it has changed the degree you have to reduce but you can have done these two things now yeah, we are good to go now if you if you want to if you are using the the white calculator the calcio fs now es plus white calculator i i encourage you to check for my video on need to the, the calculus playlist calculator playlist of this channel and watch the video on how to solve it specifically with that white one but if you are using this calculator good for you ensure you watch this very video to the end or you can see if you are in the white you can still um, watch this particular video and get an idea maybe you can go to the to, to, to my video i use the white one to explain it to get better clarity on it okay guys so now let's go ahead and solve this problem. Now the idea behind solving in-depth integration is to evaluate or simplify the question and then differentiate the, the, the option. Now we are going to simplify this question and have your or evaluate it. To simplify this question, let's all you have to do is impute this question exactly as it is appearing here. We are asked to find the in-depth integral of this question. So to do that, let's input the, the what we have. They have two x alpha x, okay, square plus x alpha x 
Press simple guys. Press to power 3. Then press record to 16. Okay guys, we have what? 16. So what we're going to do next now is that we are going to differentiate the options to check the one that give us 16. And then what happens to give us 16 will be our answer. Very, very simple guys. So remember I have 16. So let's differentiate. To differentiate, you press shift button. This button has integral sign on it to come out. So let's differentiate option A. The starting is in fraction. Okay, we have 2x alpha x cube is to power 3 okay come down over 3 okay that we have the plus fraction okay we have alpha x alpha x is the power of 4 very, very simple guys so interesting over 4 okay plus c now the plus c is not part of the of what we're going to impute here the plus c there is just a constant so you don't have to put it here so have you imputes this respective values let's go ahead and put the two is stored i think we stored under number when you come here put the number but since we stored two what we are going to put here is two is stored right so press record two and see what it give you 16. okay guys so option a was what our answer is it was 16. Okay, let's see check option b and see if we have something similar or something close but our answer is option a and let us um do some necessary adjustments okay the difference there is just the power remove this four and put two this one is for option b okay okay the difference here is there is no power in the option b here okay so this for option b correct okay let's put three downward put three downward okay two so sorry not three put two downward that's it right yeah two no it's not correct okay so guys okay let's check option d and see what we're going to have here okay option d quickly let's check option d put four here all right what do you have here we have three put three there go up okay we have x raised to power three and here we have Four. Move this to and put what four. Okay, that's it, guys. Let's put what two. Twenty-four. No. So, guys, the answer is what option A, sixteen. So that's it. Let's solve another example. Another example. Example two. Guys, hope you understand what I'm trying to explain here. Very, very simple, guys. Now, ensure sure you watch this video to the very end. Very, very important. So now you know how to solve this one that involves hyperbolic function. Very, very important, guys. This one is very, very critical. So ensure sure you watch till I solve this question. Tell me that involves hyperbolic function. Now you not miss out on it. Alright guys, so I've been known that let's quickly solve example two. So we are asked to evaluate the integral function of s to the power of four ln x. Okay, guys, very, very simple. Now you don't have to clear a calculator because we are still working with the two we stored. It's the only way we are going to store a new number that we have to clear. But since we're not going to store a new number, we are going to still work the two we already stored. No declaring, so we still work the two we stored. So what we do here now is to simplify this indefinite integral. So it's in simplify. You simply we have x alpha x. Very, very simple guy. Alpha x raised to the power of four. Okay, guys, very, very simple. Len L look at len len x alpha x close the brackets. Okay, are we missing anything? Len x to the power of four len x. Okay, guys, that's the that's special quad that's what we're going to have. Eleven point zero nine. Okay, guys, so as usual, let's differentiate the option and see they want to give us 11.09. As simple as that. So you go to your shift this divided by this integral box, and you, you see the one where there's on top of it to come out. Then let's bring this option A. We have x alpha x raised to power 5, alpha x power 5 over 5. Very, very simple, guys. Then adjust. We have lane, the lane x alpha x alpha x. How oh, I press? Okay, close the bracket. What else do we have? The minus. We have minus a fraction. So we have alpha x. Very, very simple, guys. Raised to power four. Okay, over five. Then we also have lane x 
plain x alpha x okay close the brackets that's all guys so you don't put the plus c plus c is a constant now guys you show that one, one more point to take note of is balancing of brackets you show that the brackets are always balanced so that you know end up having syntax error when you press record so let's check if, if the brackets are balanced so you take the bracket at the left hand side okay we have one oh let me start from okay we have one two at three okay we have one two three at the left let's check for the right we have one okay two two and three so it's balanced so go over here and put the two restored very simple guys 8.25 no we got 11.09 so let's check option option b let's say what's option b saying let's check it none okay let's check option c option c let's simply adjust and put the necessary information there that is not this time from the beginning so that you not waste time okay minus the difference option c is the power here the power here is five power here is five remove this and put five very simple guys and down and the denominator to have 25 not five okay so let's put equals that's that's the difference okay there's no lane there's no lane to it so i mean you have to clean this lane yeah so that's what we have there right that's what we have there i have x to the power of five then x minus s to the power, power of five by 25. so let's see the back are balanced then yeah we have two here one two we have one two so it's balanced let's record that's what we are going to have now guys very, very simple level point zero confirmed so guys this is our answer so what c this, so this is the value we got when we simplify the question okay let's check option d and see if we have something similar uh option option d what is the difference let's just check okay so the difference is just the plus here we have minus we have minus here just let's put plus and we'll be good to go right so let's put equal that's what we're going to have now no so our answer is option c it's as simple as that guys okay so having watched the very end now let's solve the very last one we have here which is question three that has hyperbolic function hope you are flowing guys okay so before i solve question three guys if you are just new to our channel ensure sure you subscribe to our channel now by hitting the subscribe button for more of our videos also like this video to help that go into more video guys now this is a good slide what the basic idea here is that we help young scholars like you with tips and other information that will help you simplify your academic problems so guys that's what we basically do here we help young scholars with tips and other necessary information that will help your academic issues so if such things such tips and information interest you sure you hit the subscribe button now to subscribe to our channel so like this video okay guys having done that let's stop question three so we have to evaluate this in the integral function so let's as usual we're going to simplify the question with the start value no, no decline in the calculator because the two is start is effective so to do that we have exponential to bring out the exponential press shift this button lane the exponential will come out then we have x alpha x then come down for this button to come down we have cos h is a hyperbolic function so we press cos now to bring that okay no let's just cancel let's delete this let's delete. to bring out the hyperbolic function what you have to do is press option here you see option you press the option now it's a hyperbolic function you see press your category one rather then what, what, what kind of hyperbolic function do we have we have cos h option two guys press two so that's it it's as simple as that guys then press alpha x to bring out to, to put the x to the bracket then the year is not part of what we're going to put it what the year stands for here is function so it's not part of what we're going to impute here so having done this that's pretty cool and so we're going to have before we differentiate the option to get our answer so it's pretty cool too the same for it was seven nine okay guys so let's differentiate the uh, and get our answer very, very simple guys so let's begin with option a all right so we have shift this integral sign button to come out so option a there we have what 
exponential shift this lane button to come out this power x alpha x very, very simple guys okay come down now you have hyperbolic function there but it goes back to option one which is hyperbolic function you press one okay so we have sign h which is still one you press one okay though that what we have there you put your x alpha x close the brackets check your back at balance we have one two here also one two here so it's balanced so you go over here and put the two restore right so you put here press equal to no this is not what we got so let's check option b what does option b saying none okay guys let's check option c option c you got 27 point something look option c let's just um go back and delete all we have here since it's starting with fraction so begin with a fraction very simple guys so we have one over four okay one over four exponential shift lane then we have the, the sorry 2x alpha x okay then come down that will have the right so we have plus then other fraction we have x alpha x over 2 very simple guys the, the c the plus c is not part of the question but since we are two we really have btl no need uh, in pretty so let's that's what we're going to have now guys very simple let's check again is what we have there yes correct so let's check first record and see we get the right answer now confirm so guys option c is what our answer this was this was the value we got when we simplified this to the 7.79 so option c is what our answer let's check option d and see if you get something similar very simple guys so quickly let me just adjust this okay let me just delete this i know fashion there we have x alpha x um go to this side um put two here very, very simple guys that will have there right so press equal to no so our answer is what option c so guys this is basically i can solve problems involving indefinite integration with this particular calcium calculator in seconds for multiple choice questions so with this we have come to the end of the class if you are new to our channel once more ensure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that for more of our videos also like share and comment on this video to tell me how you feel regarding what you have learned in this class guys if you seem to have any specific questions to ask feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and i'll ensure to give you a response now once you are done don't forget to click a letter to clear a simple press shift but nine instruction how to clear a press to initialize or press record press record to so guys are good to go so with this that's a class for you guys if you are not watch, if you want to watch that's one of the white calculator if if, the, if that's the calculator you use check the playlist the calculus calculator trick playlist of this channel and search for it you are going to see it for calcium fs and our es calculator and sure you watch it uh, you'll be good to go so that's it for this class guys thanks for watching this video see you in my next video